President and Commander-in-Chief of the Gambia Armed Forces, His Excellency Adam Abado, on Friday decorated three most senior GAF officers after their promotions to various ranks in September last year. The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Mahmoud O. A. Cham, his Deputy Major General Usman Gomez, and the Commander of the Gambia National Army, Brigadier General Said Njai, we are formally decorated with their new ranks at a ceremony held at the State House in Banjo. The ceremony was attended by the Vice President, Cabinet Ministers, Senior Military Officials, and their family members. The three General Officers are said to have had distinguished track records where they have served with loyalty, courage, distinction, and utmost professionalism. The 9th Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Mahmoud O. A. Cham, enlisted in the Gambia National Army in 1984, where he rose through the ranks and manned numerous positions and underwent several military trainings, both locally and internationally. He was recalled back to the Gambia Armed Forces by His Excellency President Adam Abaro and appointed Army Chief to lead reforms and transformations of the Gambia Armed Forces after the retirement of the former CDS, Lieutenant General Yakuba A. Drame. His deputy, Major General Usman Gomez and Brigadier General Said Njai enlisted into the Army in 1997 and 1996 respectively as officer cadets and rose through the ranks of becoming two of the most promising general officers. They both underwent extensive academic and professional education and served in various peacekeeping missions around the world where the two Officers registered highly respected reputation in strategic and operational levels. The three officers also took the prescribed oath of office, allegiance and secrecy, vying through allegiance and absolute loyalty to the country, the commander-in-chief and the Gambian people. In his appreciation speech to the commander-in-chief, CDS Cham thanked His Excellency, the President, for the trust and confidence bestowed in him and his two subordinates, adding that the Gambia Armed Forces under his command will be apolitical and will continue in their reform processes. Forces under my command will be an apolitical armed forces that is subordinate to legally constituted authority and power, while at the same time law abiding. I went further to reiterate that the armed forces will equally be highly trained Equip, motivated to perform its constitutional roles at home and abroad. I postulated that my leadership will be anchored on three C's, namely capacity building, confidence building, and cooperation. We wish to capacitate the armed forces in addressing the security challenges of today and be at par with contemporary domestic and regional security realities. Sarin Morinjai, the Minister of Defense, congratulates the newly promoted general officers, urging them to redouble their efforts in order to meet the expectations of the Commander-in-Chief, the men and women in uniform, and the Gambian people. I call on you to redouble your efforts in combating the security challenges in this country. The weight of your new roles are critical to our nation. Promotions especially the general rank, is demanding because the nation expects you to lead from a more holistic and a strategic perspective. Recognizing the challenges ahead, I want to reiterate that the government, under His Excellency's leadership, remains committed to supporting the Gambia Armed Forces, ensuring a peaceful, safe, and prosperous Gambia. The President, His Excellency Adam Abaro, also congratulates the general officers on their new appointments and tasks them to firmly provide the leadership with necessary tools to reform and transform the Gambia Armed Forces. Your elevation to your new position illustrates the trust and confidence we have in each of you. It also reflects the recognition of your dedication to duty, leadership qualities, and loyalty to the nation. It gives me the opportunity to interact with the entire 
high command. And it provides a platform for us to assess how well we have fired so far. Besides the challenges facing us as a region and a nation, make it vital to hold such meetings. In the face of the emerging security challenges and threats globally, the need to be alert is certain. As a result, I encourage you to dialogue regularly at various levels, be it at the strategic, operational, or tactical level. The president reaffirms his government's commitment in supporting the Gambia Armed Forces with the necessary resources for capacity building, improved standards, and welfare, urging them to be prepared to discharge their mandate at all times with professionalism, courage, and utmost loyalty. Aisa Tukoli, Gambian Talents TV News.